So in addition, so so we just went over all the different uh, all the different um, methods for the runge kata, uh, the, the the explicit methods. So then the next topic uh, is implicit methods, and just as we had uh, a first order, second order, third, for you know, and 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 successively higher order methods for the explicit methods, we also have the same thing for the implicit methods. And I'm going to go through these a little more in detail. Uh, but the first order, the most simple, we have an, an implicit Euler's method, a backwards Euler's, Euler's method. Um, and then we have what's called these predictor-corrector's methods. Uh, we have this second order one, the non-starting uh, self, uh, non-self-starting Hans method, uh, this uh, third order Milne's uh, method, and the fourth order Adams method, and then uh, we can go uh, five and higher order methods. Now. Uh, we're going to get into the details of these uh, in a little bit, but the predictor corrector methods, um, and well, and all the implicit methods in general, they are suitable for solving stiff systems. They don't suffer from the problem that the um, that the explicit myth methods suffer from, and so that's the whole reason that we're talking about them. And so that's sort of establishes the contrast between uh, this section um, or these topics in this uh, section and, and then to the topics in the previous where we were discussing uh, the explicit methods. The biggest difference that we're going to get into for uh, at least for the predictor corrector methods are uh, which predictor does it use and and which corrector does it use. Um, all of the, oh well we run out of room here a little bit, there we go. Uh, all of the the methods that we um, that we're going to introduce these these predictor corrector methods are um, they typically will employ an open method an open integration method as the predictor um, and so in the Hans non self starting Hans method that's going to be the open Newton Coates formula uh, is is it's the midpoint method specifically which is an open no Newton's Coates formula and then for the, for the corrector it uses a closed Newton Coates uh, formula specifically it uses the trapezoid rule and when we go from Hans method up to Milne's method all we're doing is we're just taking the predictor and a corrector and we're just using the same with the same thing we're just going up one order we're going to use instead of the midpoint method which was the that first uh, open Newton Coates formula we're going to go up one and use a three-point open Newton Coates formula. So again, using an open Newton Coates formula for the predictor, and then we're just going to move up from the trapezoid rule. And instead of using the trapezoid rule, we're going to use Simpson one-third rule, uh, which is uh, which is a closed uh, a closed Newton Coates method uh, for the corrector. Now uh, there is a problem that we're going to run across here, which is that uh, the corrector, this Simpson's one-third rule. Uh, can be an un unstable corrector, uh, but there's an improved version of this that use, is called Hamming's method that overcomes that problem. Now, uh, the other methods uh, that that are alternative, so so they're the Newton Coates integration formulas that we talked about, and that's what we learned all about in in the in the in the previous um, part. Uh, where we talked about numerical integration, we all one of the main focuses were was on the Newton Coates integration formulas, and, and we fact in, in fact we we focused more on the closed formulas than on the open ones, but we really focused in on the closed formulas. Well, uh, it turns out that instead of using uh, the Newton Coates methods uh, integration formulas, there are alternative sets of formulas that we could use um, that have both open and closed versions. And the open versions are called uh, Adams Bashforth uh, integration uh, formulas, and the closed versions are called Adams Moulton uh, integration methods. And we'll go over the difference of those. But uh, the the whole point here of saying that is is when we go up to the fourth order, instead of just increasing the order of this Newton Coates formulas, what we do is we turn to an alternative uh, integration formula, open and closed integration formula. Uh, the Adams Bashforth uh, for the open integration and for the predictor, and the Adams Moulton uh, closed integration method for the corrector, and and then we can you know we can continue going to higher order uh, multi-step methods if we want to, um, but these are these are generally 
uh, what we're going we're going to focus on and and really really we're going to take a, a closer look here at the non self starting Hans method because it's it's sort of the the simplest um, uh, of the bunch that still has the complexity of a predictor corrector but but it's simple enough that we can that we can work with it and then you just understand that um, when we go to these higher methods Milne's method Adams method and these higher methods it's just it's just a straightforward um, uh, move from there uh, just just going higher order the other thing to be aware of is that uh, the, the the advantage another advantage of these linear multi-step methods is that you can is the error estimation um, error estimation is um, is easier okay we get easier so we don't have to we don't have to do the multiple application thing for for error estimation we basically get the error estimation for free.